Hello painters! In honor of our first painting video, I have a fresh drop cloth on my table and a fresh canvas and we're ready to go. I have a piece of cardboard inside of a plastic bag because it makes it so easy to handle a wet canvas and move it to a drying rack. You don't have to do that, but um, I found that it certainly works for my in my studio. I have a canvas here with four push pins and that's to hold the canvas up out of the paint as the paint is uh, coming off and as it's drying. It will take a couple of days in my humidity uh, area for the paint to dry to the touch and then it takes about two weeks for the paint to cure properly. So I have my canvas um, on push pins and I'm going to check to make sure my canvas is absolutely level. Even if my table is level, I need to make sure that the canvas is level because it's, there's a possibility that I didn't get all the push pins in exactly the same. So we're ready to start mixing our paint. Okay, let's mix up these paints. I'm going to use the white acrylic base as a white paint and I'm pouring well, maybe a tablespoon in the bottom. We don't need a whole lot for an 8x10 canvas. And then I'm going to put the, a little bit of the neutral base in each one. Again, maybe a tablespoon in the bottom. And then we're going to add just a couple of drops of each one of the pigments. That was the yellow, this is the blue, and the red. Oops, got more than a couple drops on that one, didn't I? And then we're going to mix this up. The pigments are very concentrated, so it just takes a couple of drops, which means that bottle of pigment that came in your kit is going to go a long, long way. That's the yellow and the blue. Very saturated colors with just a couple of drops. The pigments are also very light fast, so you're going to have an archival painting and it's going to stay bright and beautiful for years. Okay, now I'm going to add the Eco Pour pouring medium and we're going to add four parts of medium to each one of the cups. One part paint, four parts pouring medium. And I don't use a measuring cup anymore, but boy, I sure did when I was um, beginning. That cup helped me know that I had things mixed up properly. Now I kind of eyeball it. You do what's best for you. I always keep paper towels close at hand. I've used more paper towels since I've been painting than I have the entire rest of my life, I think. And mixing is really important. I always uh, shake up my um, pigment and the pouring medium and the acrylic base before I use each one of them, trying to keep um, out any paint snot that might form. Okay. Here are those paper towels I said I always kept handy. And now we're going to put a couple of drops of silicone in each one. The silicone helps promote the formation of cells. And I'm putting just two drops in each one. We're going to mix it up pretty well. You 
and then I'm going to top this with just a little drizzle of silicone. That gives me some really nice cells. What happens in a flip cup, which is what we're doing today, we're layering the paints in the cup and then when we flip it over on top of the canvas, the heavier paints fall, the lighter paints rise, and as they pass one another, they go around those little droplets of silicone, and that forms the cells. So I'm ready to layer these in my cup. A little bit of white in the bottom. And then some red. Some blue. Maybe a little more white. And yellow. And a little more white. This is a two ounce cup and that is plenty for an eight by ten canvas. Two help form the cells. Okay, this is why we call it a flip cup. And we're going to let it rest just a moment so the paints can begin to rise and fall. And you'll probably see some ooze out around the edge and you may even see some paint that some cells start to form. I did this with 178 children and adults at a fair uh, here in my hometown a few weeks ago. Everyone had a great time because the aha moment is when you lift that cup and the colors start to blend and the cells start to pop up. See the cells forming in here? We're going to let that rest a little bit before we do too much tilting. The danger in this is it's so much fun to tilt you want to see what happens and you tilt it too much and the cells break. So we don't want that to happen. And you can cover the canvas completely or you can have just a partial cover. I'm going to torch it now and the torching will break up the bubble air bubbles which will uh, encourage cells and there we go I'm using a creme brulee torch and you'll see the air bubbles popping and the cells forming isn't that cool if you're working with children I don't recommend that you use a torch The danger is always overworking the paint. If you see that it's starting to get muddy, stop. That's a good time to stop. And just step away from the painting. I think I'm going to mix up just a little bit more and work around the corners here. I'm going to use the same cup. Why not? White, red, yellow, blue, a little bit more white, and I'm going to do just a quick cross. I don't want to mix it up too much, but a little bit. This is called a direct pour. As the paint moves, you want to make sure you cover the sides well. And I usually scoop it up from, from the table below. That makes it so you can frame 
the canvas or you can hang it just as it is. It doesn't have to have a frame. I'm going to torch this just a little bit on the edges too. Ah, there are those cells. Make sure there are no bare spots on your canvas. And you can touch the sides up later, but it's pretty exciting if you can get some of the cells going over the edge. Okay, now I'd like to line, add a design line in here. So I'm going to use the white paint. And that just draws the, the eye in. We're going to let that dry, but I want to get up close so you can see some of the cells and the details. So I'm going to swoop in. Look at those cells. We'll take a break and I'll be back after this is dry. It's been about a week now. The paint's completely dry. It's going to take about another two more weeks for the paint to cure so I can put um, several layers of varnish on top. But for right now, it's looking really good. I'm very pleased. The design lines held. The cells held. And it looks pretty good. That's it for this time. Thanks for joining me. Please click the like button and the subscribe below and check the comments section for a link to the EcoPour kit. The next video we're going to paint a cabinet door. So please join me. In the meantime, happy pouring. If you'd like to check out some more finished artwork, please visit my website, www.studiobethshan.com. There's a link in the comments below. Thank you.